During Tech and Music Ed, we learned about new technology, new music technology, and how to use it in the music classroom. One of the first projects we worked on was a video project where we sang or played a scale, recorded it, and then edited it to recreate a song. I chose All My Loving by the Beatles. The next project we worked on was an interview with a young student. Doing this helped us gain insight to a student's opinions and taste in music so we could know how to better engage them in the subject. We then had a, a video project where we took an unconventional instrument and figured out how to use it in a music class. Our group had a music box where students could create their own compositions and play them. In class, we talked about giving students an abstract painting and having them compose a piece to it. I think this could teach a student a new way to look at music because it could be composed for a visual purpose. Then Music Delta visited and they showed us online resources that could teach students about all the subjects of music, give them ways to practice it, games that further their knowledge, and it's all easily accessible. Then we split into two groups and recorded recital hour. It was helpful to learn different recording techniques and how they sound because as a future teacher, I'll be recording too. The next individual project was coming up with lesson plans for different software programs. I worked with Audacity first, which I felt was great for editing tracks. My idea was to have students choose any track they like from a list of recordings, and then they must alter it so it doesn't sound at all like the original. This could give them a new way to hear music. The next program I worked with was GarageBand. This included many teaching options, including videos for instrument instruction, pre-composed genres, and ways to compose. My idea was to have students use Magic Garage Band and hit open in Garage, then change the instrumentation and record one soloing line over it. The last program I looked at was Noteflight. It's web-based and easily accessible. Students could input scores online, print out individual parts, and the teacher could also edit the scores. My idea was to have them listen to a melody line, then compose an, an accompanying line. Students would be able to work on their oral skills and composition skills. We then began visiting Lowell High. We walked in and there were students sitting at the keyboards and computers and I had no idea what we were doing. The, the first class we taught was a beginning guitar class. I worked with my student on everything that would make him want to further the, his study, like strumming, different patterns, and how to move up the fretboard. This class helped me learn what not to do as a music educator. Students didn't get much individualized instruction and a lot of learning was left to themselves. Our final assignment for the class was to teach our student a song, and then we got up in, in front of the class. My student was so nervous about getting up in front of his peers, but I helped him get through it, and he was really proud. The next class we worked with was a technology class. We helped them and gave them ideas for assignments that would be graded on. It was interesting to see how students could describe the music. I think from the class that they were able to look at music differently. Many sounds could be musical, and they were able to see how they could manipulate sounds using a computer. Tech in Music Ed has given me ways to inspire children to explain, expand their mind when it comes to music, to look beyond common instruments and